This is a video on installing the ABUS frame lock onto your bunch bike. So we've got the ABUS uh, lock and keys, but also included are the, is the adapter kit, so which has two adapter ties that go onto the frame, uh, lock nuts, washers, a tool for tightening it down, and two adhesive strips to protect the frame. Additional tools you're gonna want are an eight millimeter wrench, wire clippers, tape measure, and two zip ties. So first you'll need to look at your frame and look at the cable that goes to the motor. If it goes on the inside of the frame here, we're gonna to need to move it to the outside because we're gonna mount the frame lock right here. So I'm gonna take the wire clippers and actually clip the zip ties holding it in place and then disconnect the motor connector by grabbing on both sides and just pulling out. And then you'll back that up to go on the outside and you can reconnect it by lining up the arrows. There's a, an arrow here that matches up with an arrow on the other side. You line up the two arrows so they're pointing at each other and you push that back down. It's easiest if we re-zip tie this at the end because it gives us some room to work on the installing the frame lock. So first, you're gonna take the adhesive strips. I find it helpful if you cut them down just a little bit, they're a little longer than they need to be. Um, and you're gonna wrap those around five and a half centimeters from the center part here. So five and a half centimeters down, you're going to wrap this around and that just protects the um, frame from getting scratched by the adapter. And you'll do that on either side of the frame. And I've already done that here. So once you have done that, you're going to take the adapters and you're going to wrap it around in that position. Actually, I have this one backwards. So you wanna thread the strap in on the inside like this. And then it goes in right in there and comes out the other side. And we're just gonna hand tighten for now. And I'll do one on the other side. Okay. Well, that one's not gonna stay tight, but. Then we're gonna grab our Allen key and use this to tighten that screw down. And I find that it fits the lock best if it's not straight, but turned inwards just a little bit. And I would recommend not tightening it all the way down, just a little, just a little bit so it stays in place because the next step we're going to check to make sure the lock um, fits onto the screws where we place them. And for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna tighten these all the way down because um, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'll get it enough to where it stays in place. Okay, so you've tightened those down. Next, you're gonna grab the frame lock itself and you're gonna pop off these covers here. You can use your fingers or there's a little slot you can stick a screwdriver or tool into. And that exposes where the lock's actually gonna connect. Um, and you're gonna slip that over the fender and the wheel and check to make sure that the screws can fit in both sides evenly. So I find that it fits best in the second hole from the top.
And now, so now to keep it in place, you're going to use the lock nuts that are included. If you can get the washers on, you can put those on. I've found that the screws really aren't quite long enough to fit both the washer and have enough thread left for the nut. Um, so I'm just gonna use the nut. And that's reading about this adapter kit online. Um, there's several other people I've read who've had that same issue with the washers. So I think it's just a design from Abus that they need to make that a little longer. But you're gonna hand tighten those nuts on there as best you can, just so it stays on in place. Okay, and then you're gonna take your eight millimeter wrench. This part's a little bit frustrating, but you can get the wrench in there and tighten it the best that you can. Just a little bit at a time. And continue that until you've got it tightened all the way down. Um, or actually maybe before you tighten it all the way down, check to make sure that the lock can function correctly. So if you take your keys, stick it in and push the lever down, make sure that it's able to close down. And also check that when it's open, that the wheel is able to roll without any interference on the lock. And so then once you've checked that everything seems to be lined up, use the wrench, tighten the nuts all the way down, and then take your covers and put them back, put them back on for the final step. And then once you've done that and everything seems to be in place and tight, you'll take your wire clippers, you'll clip the adapter there and then you'll take two zip ties and you can zip tie this motor wire back in place but on the outside this time you zip tie that to the frame if you have any questions just let us know by email and we can help you out thanks